In this episode of New York Next, we speak with founder creator Beth Hutchins. She tells us how she's cracked open the jewelry industry by focusing on symbols people can use to express themselves. It ends up, I want to say, becoming kind of a second skin for the people that wear it. Why she believes this is more than just a business. I think it's the kind of place that you can spend time in and that you leave either with the foundry bag or without one and you still leave inspired and how she's making the brand timeless. Just by allowing the pieces to evolve with you um, means that it's not a trend. Founded in 2015, Foundry is a New York-based fine jewelry brand born out of both mythological and classical symbols. Founder Beth Hutchins likens the collection to modern heirlooms with the expression of identity and personal values. You know, we were talking before this interview began just about how everyone who buys a piece really has a story. Was that an intentional thing? The entire collection was really conceived to be tools of self-discovery and mm. self-expression. And I really wanted each piece to be able to be put together in a way that really expresses your story more so than screams, you know, found Ray. It ends up, I want to say, becoming kind of a second skin for the people that wear it. So much of most popular modern jewelry, without naming names, yeah. it's like everyone has the same bracelet yes, and the same necklace yes, and the same yes. watch. And this feels like such a deviation from that. I mean, the whole point of really creating custom jewelry and the symbolism behind it, it it's intended to be timeless. You know, they're investments. So I want people to wear it for the rest of their lives, but then I also want it to be passed down to the next generation. We constantly talk about the collection as modern heirlooms, but it's not the weight of the gold that we think that you're really passing down to the next generation, it's the story behind it. You have to be able to pass it down. That actually keeps it from being, you know, a fashion object or like, mm -hmm. you know, apparel, because I really, I want to recognize the investment and the art you know, and the you know classic craftsmanship behind all the objects that we do. And so I, I really want them to be, um, you know, lifetime investments. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, because a lot of jewelry pieces and anything that's in fashion, it feels like it's a trend, right? It comes right. and it goes. And so you're trying to avoid that. I feel we do avoid that. You know, just by allowing the pieces to evolve with you um, means that it's not a trend. It means that, you know, it's a lifetime piece that you'll continue to wear and enjoy and that will that you'll always feel like it currently reflects who you are in that moment. would love to talk about the business itself too, because sure. one of the things that seems striking about this is it sort of feels like a Lego store for yeah. women, right? It's like you can always get another set, yeah. you can always add to it. It's not just the fact that we're saying, you, you know, come and get more. We're also saying, bring us your collection that you already own. We have a bench jeweler on the premises, a hand engraver on the premises, and we can actually help you restyle it in a way where it evolves with you as you evolve. I think it's the kind of place that you can spend time in and that you leave either with the foundry bag or without one and you still leave inspired. It's so funny because when we had that billboard up, because um, our, our first store on Lisbonard, I mean Lisbonard is you probably don't know what it is. It's a street that's two blocks long adjacent to Canal Street. And so when I first opened up the store there, you know, my friends would make jokes that, you know, oh, you, um, what a great location you opened right next to Gucci. And they meant like the fake Gucci bags that are being sold on the corner. And so it really had, to this day, zero walking traffic. It, you know, really relied on organic, you know, hand, you know, people telling other people where to find us or finding us on social media. And we've been, you know, really happy with our growth and with the people that have come in. So it's exciting for us to be able to open up on Madison because there's walking traffic here. And, and now when I say Gucci's our neighbor, it, it really is Gucci. <laughs> yeah. It's not the fake bags on the corner of Canal. So it's, it's exciting. Hopefully it will just really allow us to get to know more people and to really share you know, what we do with, a, with a, a greater variety of people. Mm -hmm.